Back to Studio 701. It's that time of the year, and, and actually it's always that time of the year. <laughs> Think about getting rid of the extra junk around your home. I know I really need to, and to help <laughs> with our home improvement, Jacob Witzke is joining us now live in the studio. Hi, Jacob. Hello. Good morning, sir. Now, we've seen the junket signs all around town. Uh, how did you get your business started? Uh, well, we, uh, I actually own a, a landscaping company in town, too, Bizman Outdoor Services, and just looking for a way to keep everybody busy in the slow season. So. Yeah, and it's always a good time of year to do it. You know, sometimes you think about spring cleaning or something, but I saw your sign. So first of all, I just want to ask, how effective have those signs been as far as getting people to call you for Junket ND? Oh, they've been phenomenal. Yep, the phone's been ringing. We've been doing jobs. This is kind of our first couple weeks, actually, in, a, in business here. So I think yeah. it has to do with the bright green. Yeah. It really <laughs> caught my eye for some reason. <laughs> now, what exactly do you do? Walk us through the process. I call you. I say, I have a bunch of junk. What do you do? Yep. We would just, just kind of assess how much junk you have and where you're at in town, um, how easy it is to get to and get loaded up. And then we just give you a price and come out and haul it away if you, if you want us to. We also offer uh, do-it-yourself junk removal. So some people have the, have the time and the, the physical ability to haul their junk. They just don't have a truck or a trailer to put it in. So we come and drop a trailer off in your driveway for a weekend. You fill it up, we haul it away and take care of the disposal. So. Nice. Now you said you've been around a couple weeks. Um, are you getting business already? Are you, and if so, have you had some pretty big jobs? They've been pretty small. and, and is there a job too small and is there a job too big? Um, yeah, we've, we've probably done about a half a dozen jobs already, so it's been good. Um, there really is no job too small or too big. We do have a minimum charge, you know, so it's, it's not probably worth it for us to come pick up a just little cardboard box or something. But, <laughs> um, yeah, as far as, as far as too big, there, there really is no job too big. So. Wow. How do you, you know, or what do you do with the junk? Let me start there. So where, where does that go? Where do you haul it to? Sure. So we try to repurpose as much of it as we can. Um, we work with local thrift stores, and, and we're actually still actively seeking partners for that. So if there's anybody watching that knows of a, a good home for gently used stuff, feel free to reach out to us. Nice. And how should people, uh, how can people reach you? Uh, they can send us a message through our website. They could call or text our phone number or send us an email. Okay. Yeah. I like what you're saying about repurposing it just because, you know, we call it junk, but uh, it's gently used and you just don't want to go through the process of selling it. It's a really, seems like a great option to get it somewhere else. Um, what are some of the items, like in the picture there, laundry, uh, washer and dryer? You know, like what kinds of things are you picking up for people? Yeah, washers, dryers, couches, um, just, just general household stuff that's not needed anymore, you know, um, pretty much anything. And um, thinking about, I don't want to break my back. <laughs> so I was thinking about lifting all that stuff. I'm like, can I call him to just help me move a couch? Um, <laughs> why should people consider hiring professionals when it comes to getting rid of their junk? A lot of it comes down to people just don't have the time or the means, you know. Um, it takes some of this stuff's really heavy, and you might need three or four guys to come haul it. And then you need a, a way to get it to wherever you're trying to take it to, too. So that's where we come in. And how do you stay safe when you're lifting heavy stuff? Uh, stretching, staying in, staying in good shape, and having enough people for the job, not trying to, trying to lift something really heavy with just a couple guys. So. Yeah. Nice. Staying hydrated? Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> cool. Well, Jake, we, we appreciate you being here this morning. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Now, this has been Home Improvement. Uh, for more information, check out junketnd.com. So interesting. I have a piano that I'm not kidding you. It took like eight people to lift, even just a little just bit. Call Jake. He can probably get it by himself. I, he probably could. <laughs> All right. We'll keep it here. Coming up next, we're going to hear about the housing market from an expert.